Hello, I am Manjeet and this is voice meter setup tutorial. The purpose of this video is to make you understand voice meter, not just give you a solution for one thing because voice meter can do lots of things. You can make your microphone louder and add some effect to sound like studio mic. You can play music from Spotify, YouTube to friends on Discord or you can play meme sound to friends in game or share full screen on Discord with audio. You can play system sound to multiple devices over network and also you can equalize your headset to add some bass to it. And another reason to use voice meter is because Mr. Beast uses it. So let's roll the tutorial. Some crackling issues and the problems that comes after installation with solution and fixes are at the end of the video. First you need to have downloaded and installed these tools. You can download these tools from this site vbaudio.com for virtual audio cable you can click on this link download this zip folder and then for voice meter you can click on this link download this exe file. You can also go with voice meter banana and voice meter potato. However, these two tools are not meant for the normal users, uh, they are a bit advanced and complicated to set up and they use some more system resources as compared to voice meter. So we will use uh, voice meter in this tutorial, just go ahead and download the voice meter and install it. After installing it will ask you to reboot. Just don't reboot yet, first install all the three tools and then reboot your system. About process lasso we will see at the end of the video. This will we will use to fix some sound crackling issue which is very common with the voice meter. For virtual audio cable you need to first extract it and then you can install from here. After installing just go ahead and reboot your system then come back. After reboot go ahead and launch voice meter. At first your voice meter will look something like this and this is where all the magics happen. I would suggest first watch the full tutorial and then do it on your computer. Don't do it along with the video or you will mute your system sound and then you will end up uninstalling voice meter. This is not the way to do it. First watch the full tutorial and then do it or watch the tutorial on another computer. Let's see one by one how it works. A1 and A2 is your hardware output points. This is where your audio output devices are listed. So if you click on A1, you will find your all the audio output devices. I am using this Bluetooth speaker. I will select this one. You need to select your device from the list. A1 and A2, they both work the same way. They both will be sent the same audio. However, this is not the case with the voice meter banana and voice meter potato. This over here is your virtual input for voice meter. After installing voice meter, your default audio input and output device will be set to voice meter. You can check out from here voice meter input. What it means is that whatever you play on your computer, that audio will be sent to voice meter. For example, let me show you if I play this music. That audio is being uh, sent to my voice meter. Initially, that these two boxes should be unchecked. So, if I want to, to send this audio to my speaker, I just need to click on A, and that will internally be linked to A1, and which is my speaker. All the A's on all the bars is for your hardware output, and all the B's in the all the bars is for your virtual mic which is this one if I click if I want to send this audio to my mic I just need to click on B and that will be sent to my virtual mic in a nutshell this is how voice meter works it takes in audio from your system and then redirects it according to you these two are your hardware input points. this is where your microphone devices will be listed I am using this laptop's inbuilt microphone array I will select this one you select your device from the list after selecting this your audio should be detected in here and if I want to use this as my default microphone I just need to pass this to my default virtual mic which is this one and along the way if I want to add some bass to my mic I just need to take this little point to the left side of the IntelliPen and it will add some bass to my mic if you double tap on this it will reset if you right click on this the another IntelliPen will open here and here you can adjust the position of your mic in the room you can hear the effect by passing this audio to your headphone. Now let's see how it works on the discord. Go to the setting voice and video and here you can change audio input output devices for a discord. Default works just fine but if you face any sound crackling issue then change this manual to voice meter output. This is your default virtual mic. It's same as selecting default one. Click on let's check. Now you can see your audio is being detected on discord. If I don't want to pass my audio to discord I just need to uncheck this B. You, I can also mute from here and now you can see this audio is not, not being detected on discord 
So if your goal was to just add some bass to your mic, then that's all you needed to know. If you want to pass system sound over mic, then continue watching. This is especially useful when you want to share full screen and still be able to share audio. If I play some music, you can see this audio is being sent on Discord, and that's how you can pass your system sound over mic. But problem with this is that your output device on Discord is this one, voice meter input. Which is this one on voice meter and the audio input device on your discord is voice meter output which is this one. So if you look closely the audio coming out of the discord is going, going back to the discord and this will create an audio echo. So to fix this we need to separate system sound and the communication sound and this is where we need to use this virtual audio cable which we have already installed. So go ahead and select virtual audio cable on voice meter as well as on your discord. Now you can see the audio going to the discord is coming back from the discord in this channel and that's how you can separate your system sound if uncheck this B button. Now let's see this is your system sound and this is your communication sound and this is your mic. So audio coming out of the discord is coming here and the audio coming out of your system is coming here audio going to the discord is from here your mic's audio is going to the discord with the help of this and your system sound is being sent to the discord with the help of this mic and that's how you can pass your system sound over mic if you are this long into the video and you think still think it's hard to set up then my friend i have a solution for you go to the menu go to the menu load setting and you will find this uh, configuration file in the description set load this on your uh, voice meter and all the settings will be automatically set all you need to do is select your headphone device from the list here and your mic device from the list here and that's it you are all set to go you can also play some meme meme sound to your friends let me show you if i play this uh, meme sound you can see this audio is being sent to discord and that's how you can play any meme sound to your friends and also you can set this uh, virtual audio cable as default communication device for any other platform if you change any platform this device will be automatically set to uh, as your communication device you can just set, click on this button default communication device and this virtual audio cable will be set to default now let's see some sound crackling issues if you click on hardware input or on hardware output you will find same devices multiple times with different prefix wdm KS and MME. These are different types of audio drivers and they all have different audio latency. KS has the least audio latency and MME has the maximum audio latency. WDM is in between KS and MME. SEO is similar to KS. In most cases, WDM just works fine. But if you face any sound issues, then change the driver to MME and it should fix it. But if problem persists, then go to the menu, system setting and here you can adjust the buffer size of all the audio drivers. Higher the buffer size you select more stable audio will be but with higher audio latency. Lower the buffer size you select you more the audio dropouts you will see but with lower audio latency. Find out sweet spot for yourself it's not same for all computers. One more thing if you use discord sometimes your voice starts cracking for the other person on discord. You can fix this by going to the task manager details and select this audio digit.txt right click on it set priority to high at high and set affinity to just one processor and it will fix the issue. But on every boot you will have to do this manually. You can avoid doing manually by using this process lasso. Select this same audio digit.txt set priority always to high and set affinity always to just one processor. That's it. It will be applied on reboot. But on every boot process lasso will ask you to buy full version. You can also avoid this by going to option general con configure startup select this do not start at login next finish. That's it. You can increase decrease your microphone volume from here. You can increase decrease your headphone volume from here. You can also add some bass to your headphone. If you click on this S button, all the other sound will be muted and the selected one will be active. You can mute your microphone volume microphone from here as well as from here. You can also mute your system sound from here as well as from here. You can uh, if you play five or seven channels audio, you can mix down to stereo by clicking on this button. You can also pass the same audio to the multiple devices by selecting the other device from the list over here. You can also pass the this audio to the remote device on the same network by turning on this V band button and putting down the IP address of the other mobile or the laptop, whatever the other device is. And also you can click on this uh, Windows startup button so that it will automatically start on system boot. 
and also check this system tray button so that even if you clo close the voice meter it will stay over here that's it i guess i have covered most of the basic functionality of voice meter it took quite an effort to make this video if you have any queries you can comment down or head on to my discord don't forget to like to this video subscribe to my channel thank you for watching see you guys in the next video